New at 5.30, a Tehama County community is concerned about a growing number of feral cats around their homes. Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis went out to check out the problem at Woodson Bridge Estates, and she shows us efforts to keep the cats safe and under control. People living here at Woodson Bridge Estates say they're concerned about the growing population of feral cats in the neighborhood and say there's been little support from management. These animals did not ask to be abandoned. They didn't ask to be born here. They look to us for help. Several neighbors say most of the cats are not spayed or neutered and that the population is multiplying. That's the real solution to get them fixed so they don't continue to breed. And then we have more and more litters that are just on the streets looking for food and shelter. The increased population has also led to more poop in the neighborhood. Some neighbors say feral cats can be beneficial for the environment, but the number is out of control. You're not going to be able to control the rats and mice. It's as simple as that. We've got fields everywhere, and plus we're just right off the Sacramento River. Some neighbors sought help from outside organizations like nonprofit Friends United and Rescue. I called Fur, who says they plan to fix at least 25 cats in the area over the next few weeks. I tried to reach out to management. I was not successful. Um, they did not want to listen to us and um, did not want to communicate with us at all. I think the residents reached out and the majority of the residents they just want the population to stop growing. With several cats, including pregnant cats, roaming the neighborhood, many people who live there are buying them food until it can be adopted, spayed, and neutered by an organization like Fur. We have, we have out of our own pockets and out of our own time and effort, tried to find a solution. And we found one and we're being told no. Neighbors say some people have suggested euthanizing or dumping the cats and that some have died suddenly in the last couple of weeks. Fur says neither of those are the answer and there are humane ways to address the overpopulation. We don't want to fight, uh, go in um, very respectfully, trap and, you know, don't disturb any residents there um, and just help the animals. You know, they, they didn't ask to be there. They didn't ask to to be dumped there or however they got there. I did walk into the office to talk with on-site managers about the feral cats and what's being done to help. They told me they had no comment or statement. In Corning, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Fur, that nonprofit, says it provides spay and neuter services at low to no cost but does rely heavily on donations for help.